Hi everyone. I haven't done a soldering set day in a while. So I thought I would use this set day to put together the logic probe I got from Dave Astles. Excuse the 3D printing noise in the background. I was printing up a resistor bendy tool thing that I could use for the project, but it's still printing. And my printer is making a lot more noise than usual. Anyway, let's get started. I bought this kit off Dave Astells from on his Tindy store. It's a logic probe. It's all through hole. I'm gonna get everything out of the bag. Might have seen it on one of my unexpected mail videos. Let's just get a little bit closer and have a look at the board. Okay, as you can see, it's all through hole. Everything's nicely labeled. All the resistors are labeled. The transistors are labeled. It's pretty straightforward. The only thing I can't see is possibly the LEDs. Can't tell which way they go in. There's these last two spots here. I guess we'll work that out. So I'm gonna put this together and just kind of chew the fat as I'm doing it. I'm just gonna move the LEDs out the way. There's two types of transistors. Let's have a look and see what these are. Might be able to see with me. Maybe, maybe not. I apologize if you can't. Okay, that's a BC557. That's a PNP, I believe. That goes by itself, and the other three should be exactly the same. Let's have a look at these. Let's see if we can see those. 3904s, I think. 3904s, two of them, and then this third one by itself. Yep, 3904. Okay, so they go together. So a whole bunch of resistors. Of course, there's no instructions that came with this, which I'm not going to fault Dave on it because it's not overly difficult build, but one thing that would have been nice would have been a piece of paper with a list of all the different resistor values and codes on them because as you can see by the PCB there's quite a few different values. I've got 150k, 10k, 76k, 1k, 4.7k, 220 ohm, 680. So yeah, I'm going to have to work out what these are <laughs> on the fly, which is kind of weird, okay? Oh, as everyone knows, I'm not good at this. Don't have Julian around at the moment to help me out because it's not a live stream. I also ordered it with a, a 3D printed case. I could have printed it myself, but I thought I'd um, make Dave suffer and print me one. I paid extra for it, so yeah. And it's still got the support material on it. Should probably take that off. Hope it comes off okay. So Dave recommends starting from left to right. So I'm going to start from left to right. I need a 150k resistor. I know brown is one. Green five and yellow is, I don't know how many zeros. Okay, I know that there's some 10Ks. That's, that's, there's, I think there's three of them. One, two, three, four 10Ks. If I can find four or something, I'll say they're 10K. I'm pretty sure. Brown, black, orange, that's 10K. That's a really familiar value. I'm pretty sure. Yep, yep. Okay, so they're the 10Ks. You can't, can't even see what I'm doing. Wow. Let's zoom back out a bit. It's a bit embarrassing. I'm doing this whole sorting of resistors and no one can see what I'm doing. Um, I know that this is a 7.6, 7.6. Why do I know that? Because I remember Dave mentioning when I got the kit that that's a, the blue one. So that's a 7.6, 76K, I should say. I think that's a 150. I'm pretty sure that's a 150. Let's see what else there is. Are there any duplicates of anything else? Because of course there won't be. There's a 1K, there's a 220. You know what a 220 is, that's, isn't that red? Starts with red, red, red. 220 is red, red, because I've used those quite a few times. I think that's a 220. What is that? Something starting blue. Pfft, no idea. What's this one? Brown, black, red, brown. That's a one. Red and, and what is that? It starts with yellow. Is that yellow and purple and red? It sounds familiar. Green is five, yellow would be four, I think. So we've got starting with a four, 4.7. Okay, I think I know, kind of know what these are. Let's, uh, let's get started. Um, if I get it wrong, well, I can always order a new one <laughs> or something. Okay, so let's go back to the first one. Where did I put the first one again? Is that this one with the green in it? Okay, I think this is a 150. I don't know how wide I need to make this. Let's just zoom in a bit more. Bendies, wow, that's really tight. Bendies, okay. I'm gonna do this by hand. Packing in tight, Dave. Dave likes doing all of his resistors in the correct order. Does that fit? Oh, it does, okay. I might do the same actually. If any of this is out of the camera view, I apologize in advance. I'm not really watching the camera view right now. God, my print is loud. Um, okay, so should we put all three in first? So I need a 10k. Okay, when you say in the correct order, that means that the gold ring or whatever the, you know, the percentage value one -y things that's on the, they're all on the same side. That's what I mean by putting them all in the same way. 
It really doesn't matter. It's not like they're polarized. Okay, it's two and we need 76. We need the 76 and the 76 is the blue one. But I can't see which way is the start and the end. So I'm just gonna put it in any old way. Look at that, I've already broken. Broken it. Broken my standards. Dropped my standards. What can I tell you? Okay, is that in? Okay, let's solder these on. Let's start with these. Just gonna put a bit of blue tack down. Because why not? Give my iron, give it a bit of a clean. Give it a bit of a tin. Whoa, oh, smoky, smoky. Don't breathe it. I think this, I wonder if this tip's on its way out. So how's everyone been? I've had an interesting month. So let everyone know what I've been doing. I've, I've started recording, recording, good one. I've started recording bits and pieces of footage just throughout the week. I can't even see if this is working. These got tiny, tiny amounts of, uh, tin on the pads. I can't even see if I'm getting these right. Wow. Um, I've started recording just um, random bits of footage throughout the week. Just things that don't really fit into a, a particular video but you guys might find interesting. And I'm going to put it together into what I call, I don't even know what I'm calling it. I think I'm, right now I'm calling it random weeks but that doesn't make any sense. I think I'm gonna make it a monthly thing where every month I just put out a, a video don't know how long it's going to be, maybe five or ten minutes or something. That's just a collage of different bits and pieces that, oh, that's hot. Different bits and pieces of just stuff that happened during the week, uh, sorry, during the month that, you know, you might find it kind of like a behind the scenes, but it's not really behind the scenes because, well, it is, but it's, you know, it's not like the making of my videos or anything. It's just random stuff clean up I've been doing or things have been arriving or I don't know stuff I've been printing stuff for me to bitch and moan about I don't know but I'm looking forward to putting my first one out it's kind of like that sick video I did where I was you know poor me I'm sick it's gonna be something like that because transistor time how I'm just gonna get I gotta get these legs right now apparently I have to push this down pretty far, otherwise it won't fit in the case. But if I push it too far, I'll damage it. Let's see how low we can push it before we kind of break it. I don't know if that's enough. Does that look like it's going to fit in the case? I don't know how low it sits in the case, but no, that's not going to clear the case. How do I get this to fit? Did I push too far? Did I break it? I might have just uh, bent a leg too far. Hmm, don't like that people can see what I'm doing. I'm sorry if you can't. Okay, you got to be really careful not to break the transistor. Okay, let's try this. I think that's going to be low enough. Let me just check. Yeah, maybe. If not, well, maybe we just don't put a cover on it. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, something about the, the monthly videos. I haven't edited this one. That's right, kind of like my sick video, you know, where I said, poor me, I'm sick. And I just did some random footage of my day. But this will be over the month. Probably nothing overly exciting, I don't think. But you might find it interesting. I hope I haven't damaged the transistor doing that. Cool. Next is more resistors. Okay, a 1K. I think that was the brown, black, red. Nice and tight. You know I'm going to mess this up, right? I'm going to put something in wrong. And I'm going to screw it up because that's just me. 10K again. Yes, I know what 10K is. So what else has been happening? Well, as you, as you all saw, my Reflow Master is coming along. I've been working on a 3D case for it. Going through quite a few revisions of it, actually. It's getting a little bit frustrating, just the tolerances, get, getting them right. To fit everything in, I'm probably going overboard in my design. 4.7K, hmm, there's that one starting with yellow over here. So anyway, I'm looking forward to kind of just getting all that working, because right now the breadboard still on my desk next to my oven. I've still got the oven there. I've uh, kept my 3D printer over on the shelf on the side for now. So I actually don't mind it there. I was worried that the shelf might be a little bit unstable, like it might wobble around too much, but it's been pretty good. Hey Dave, next time can you do like just bigger solder paddy thingy things on the rings? That would be really helpful because these are really tight. I need to hold my breath while I'm doing this. 
Gonna move on, folks. I didn't want to make a long video. I really didn't. Hey, Mr. Printer. You're really loud. Like it's on stealth mode at the moment. I think, well it was on stealth mode. Okay, what's next? This one is... I assume that label there is for this transistor. So that's the BC. Let's pull off the paper. Yank. Probably yanked it a bit too hard. Let's squeeze this in. I'm not anti through hole folks. I know it sounds like I am sometimes, but I would have much preferred the surface mount version of this. And maybe I'll put one together. Maybe I'll design one. The circuitry for this is pretty straightforward. Dave actually has a learning guide for this, this particular design and just logic probes in general and, oh, did I just bridge that? No, I didn't. He's got some really great learning guides on Adafruit website, learning system. Check it out if you haven't already. It's all about how microprocessors work and logic gates and binary and all sorts of stuff. He's, uh, it's like going lower back to the basics. Pretty cool, highly recommended. And he's leading somewhere with it all, which is exciting. Oh, is that gonna fit? Hope so. Okay, and there's another transistor. Should really peel the paper instead of just yanking it like I've been doing Get my tweezers. Wow, can't get it off. Just cut my nails. So I have no nails to peel this off with. I don't know how these are gonna fit next to each other. Oh, bend it, bend it, break it. Did I break it? Wow, okay. Clumsy C on, hopefully I haven't broken it. I cleaned my office today, folks. Been getting a bit ratty, I have to say. Been, yeah, I just, I, every time I, I stream or every time I work on a bunch of projects at the same time, I'll put like one project on one desk and one project on another desk and the problem with having lots of space is you just mess it all up. I know it's like sounds like a, a nice problem to have, and it is sometimes, but the whole cleaning up thing. I feel great after I've cleaned up, but the whole cleaning up, yeah, not so much fun. Okay, and it, wait, was that two 10Ks in a row? I think it was. It must be, because there's only two resistors left and there's only one more there. Cool, okay. Wasn't really watching. Okay. We are close. I assume those two pads are supposed to touch. Oh, okay. I've lost the blue tack there. I think just we're getting a bit too high for the blue tack to work. Oh, I need to trim that one. That was a bad shot. Has everyone been enjoying Dave Watts and my little banter on video? It's been kind of funny. It was uh, rather <laughs> appropriately unexpected. It's gonna be super fun working with him on this project. I love the idea. And I love the whole idea of collaborating. Very cool. God, that is some shoddy work. Okay, another transistor. Let's see if I can peel this one off. Can't even peel it. That is tight. Okay, well, mess time. That happens with this masking tape. It just disintegrates. Good news is that paper's on the bottom. Come on, get on. Wow, that's really bent that leg. Okay, that's not good at all. Everyone see the bent leg? I need to fix that. Just kind of straighten them out, if I can, without destroying them too much. Yay for surface mount, that's all I can say. Come on, squeeze through. Come on, do it, do it, do it. I think that's close enough. I hope I did not damage the internal connections. I have no idea if you even saw that on video or not. Apologise if you didn't. Stick on, Blue Tack. Do your job. Okay. And after that, we've just got one resistor, two LEDs. That is the straightest parts you've never seen. Okay, one more resistor. Ooh, that's thick legs. It's gotta be the 680 because I don't have any other resistors left. So it's just a matter of elimination on this one. This is riveting, isn't it? Riveting. So which way do the LEDs go? There's a straight line just there and a round line there. I would assume then that the well, low and high. Okay, so high would be green. Okay, I'm gonna. I'm guessing on this one, folks. If I get it wrong, well, there you go. Maybe I should stick to uh, something a little less less sophisticated as electronics. I think that might be a good idea. Came okay, back. Got some cable. I didn't have any red and black that was long enough and I didn't have 
for some reason they don't have red and black next to each other when you get them in strips. So I've got some grey and purple. That's close enough. I'm just going to cut the ends off. Okay, I need to put them in the end here. I haven't tested this. I probably should test it first, but you know, whatever. Live dangerously. I'm going to strip the ends of these. I'm just going to try these strippers today because my other ones are playing up. See if I can get them even close to the same length, that'd be nice. Not bad. I'm just going to worry about that in a second, and I need to do this one as well. I just don't know what length I need this. I guess it can fold over the top of itself, that's fine. I need to attach this one here, I assume we go underneath. We'll go from the top, I might just do that one first. With my blue tack gone. Hello Mr. Blue Tack, come and play. A nice lot of solder on this one. I might actually solder it two sides. Ooh, are they touching? No, okay. Should I solder it both sides? I think I should. So solder makes wire brittle, if you didn't already know. I'm sick and tired of wires snapping off, so it probably makes sense to use the purple as positive. Oh, I should do it from the top as well, shouldn't I? So I can get them both in. I'm not sure how we're going to keep this still. I'll do my best. Stay still. Okay, solder this quickly before it falls over. Let's do it without touching the end of the solder, shall we? Cool. Good heat transfer that was. Don't think I can even do the other side. Got them really close. So now apparently, this should all fit together. <laughs> oh, there we go. Okay. Ooh, how do I squeeze that through without breaking it? Maybe that's enough. Should I test it before I put the, um... Yeah, I should test it before I put the top on. Okay, I've got a feather. I should probably get a breadboard. Stick the feather in, I need power brick. Hopefully it'll decide to stay on. I've got a blink sketch on here, so when I turn it on you'll see it's just blinking. Blinky blinky. There we go. So I should be able to plug this to ground. I mean, I'll do this to 3 volts, should be fine. I don't know if this is 5 volt or 3 volt, but we'll find out. Okay, that's 3 volts in ground, and I should, oh, I don't even know if that's long enough. I should be able to just touch pin 13, whoa, why have we got, oh, battery turned off. I should be able to touch pin 13. There we go, on, off, on, off, look at that. You can't even see, try that again. So it's blinking with the LED turning on and off until the battery turns off. Okay, so obviously if I hit ground, it'll be red. So it seems to be, I would have thought nothing when it's not touching anything. Okay, three volts, on. Battery's turned off again. So, the fact that it's red when it's not touching anything, that's not good. I think it should be off, shouldn't it? I would have thought it should be off. Okay, well it's working. Let's get the cover on and see if I can get the LEDs in the right spot and get this wire in and hope that the transistors are low enough and they're not. I can already see. Can you already see? You might be able to see here. Transistors aren't low enough. The case is not going to go on. I might um, reprint a new case though with a bit more tolerances. Yeah, that's not going to go on. Ah! Oh, wouldn't bum out the end. I can always leave it like that. That's fine. Anyway, we have a logic probe and it's working and there it is. I think everyone should go to Tindy and pick up one of these. They're super cheap. I think they're about twelve dollars. It's a. Uh, it's quite nice. It's going to be potentially helpful for those times where I quickly just want to see whether I've got any logic working correctly. I'll have to investigate about why the red LED stays on when it's powered. I'll have a chat with Dave and see what he says. Otherwise, there you go. There it is. Logic probe. Tindy. Do it, everyone. Okay. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button. Uh, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Welcome to all my new subscribers. And until next time, bye.